Remember, a hosta loves water, so put it in a location where you're going to get plenty of water or licks. Thanks, Faisal. In this video, I'm going to show you how to grow huge hosta and other plants. I'm going to show you the tips and tricks that I use to get great results in every one of my gardens and plantings. As many of you know, I love to do plantings, cuttings, flower beds, things of that nature, and I'm going to show you how I get the best results. Tip number one should go without saying, make sure you start off with a healthy plant. Tip number two, start off with a good growing medium, and I'm going to show you that right now. So one thing that I found here in Georgia, and it'll apply to a lot of other locales, is growing medium. Personally, I like to use what they call here at the local suppliers, soil conditioner. Now, all this is pretty much is ground up pine, bark, mulch, ground up pine. It's, it's not much more than, than bark that's been ground to a fine ground. And this has been sitting in my, my pile for a while. So you're not, it's probably broke down a lot more than what you'll see when you get it. But I'm telling you, this stuff breaks up soils amazingly. If you've got a clay soil or a compacted soil, this stuff will break up that soil and keep it from being, keep it from hardening up like concrete. And I just use, you know, for a little one gallon container of hosta or a little quart container of hosta, I just use another quart just like it and mix in the hole. I dig the hole a couple, three times bigger than the hosta plant itself, mix this stuff in accordingly. And I, I go by look and feel. I don't stick with a certain, you know, I don't stick with a certain proportion formula, ratio, algorithm, whatever. I just mix it as I see fit. I want that clay soil to be broke up as deep as I can get. That's my biggest tip to start your plant is use a good grow medium, break up that soil. Even if you've got good clean dirt, the hosta roots will not survive if they're choked out with no oxygen. They've got to breathe. These things have got to breathe. Now, when I say oxygen, I don't mean a huge air gap in the hole. I just mean the soil's got to be able to let the roots get the moisture, the nutrients, the oxygen that it needs to grow well. We got to break those soils up with something organic. Tip number three, plant food. I use miracle Grow all-purpose plant food. We find this stuff at the dollar store super cheap throughout the year, so I buy as much as I can get. I do, I do plant food every two, probably every two weeks. I dose the plants as much as possible with plant food. So in another video, I've heard of using milorganite or milligranite, however you want to pronounce it, to start off feeding your hostas early in the season. Now you can check out the video below, it's from Funky Gardens, and he does a great job explaining how to propagate hosta, how to divide hosta, and how to feed and start your hosta. And I can testify that his results and my results are pretty much the same. I haven't tried the milorganite or the milligranite yet in my garden, but I plan on doing it next year. But you can see this hosta behind me is absolutely huge, and I just use Miracle Grow. Once I start seeing the buds come up off the ground, I start using the Miracle Grow and I feed it regularly. Another thing that doesn't get discussed enough when it comes to hosta is placement and location in your garden. As you can see right here, the sun hits about halfway down the middle of this hosta, and then right now we're still early in the day, but it gets part shade to part sun for most of the day. It does absolutely great. During the hotter part of the year, it does show some a little bit of discoloration around the edge of the leaves where it gets too much sun and too much heat. But it absolutely performs great and grows like nobody's business. So make sure you pick a good location. Find out what your directions say and find out what your local nursery suggestions are for where you should plant your hosta in your garden. Well, you're thinking, Tony, how much should I water my hosta? Remember, a hosta loves water, so put it in a location where you're going to get plenty of water or licks. Thanks, Faisley. <laughs> growing hosta can be fun. Remember these few simple tricks. You can have a blast in growing huge, huge hosta. Remember, plant medium, plant food, amount of sunlight, and water and you too will have a healthy, happy hosta plant.